hundred percent be inside of that bottle. Now, unfortunately, today uh, we're talking about a, a, a something that's sad. But my guess is, and I don't want to speak for him, uh, our good friend Coach Jerry Reynolds is going to make us smile uh, more than the other way around as we celebrate the life of uh, beyond an icon. Uh, Bill Russell. Coach, it's Dave, it's Jason, it's Jay. Thank you, as always, for joining us. Good morning, my friend. Well, good morning, and I'm glad uh, to join you on this uh, this day, and uh, really, as you said, uh, celebrating the life of, uh, you know, just uh, truly a, an icon, not just in sports, but uh, social activist in life, uh, and, and I was uh, just really blessed to, to get to know and uh, really develop a friendship with Bill for several years. So, uh, yeah, really a special guy and, uh, you know, no question will be missed. Uh, he, but boy, he had a talk about a full life and well-lived life. Uh, uh, very few get a, get accomplished what he did. Well, Jerry, if we, if we kind of start there, because, you know, Dave and I were talking about the stuff we read, I, I never had a chance to know him. And I think there's, there was a little bit of a guard around him, understandably, based on how he had to go through his life. But you had that opportunity. What would, how would you describe the Bill Russell that you knew? Hey, you know, uh, it, first of all, I mean, he's a was an eccentric person. He'd be the first to admit that. Right. Uh, was not easy to get to know because he probably uh, wanted to be. You know, till till he trusted you, you weren't going to get inside that uh, circle. And and I certainly have been around a few, you know, icon types that uh, basically pretty much all the same. They have to, you know, they have to protect themselves. There's uh, a lot of dingbats out there uh, for sure, and, and some bad people too. But Bill, you know, once you got in there, and I, I mean, you know, the way I'd put it is that, and a lot of people probably uh, never thought of this, but w once, once you were kind of in his circle and he felt comfortable with you, he was just a delightful person, you know, just a guy that I, you know, every day, uh, I, that's the way I look at it. You know, we'd get together and spend time, you know, and I just loved listening to his stories and, and, and about his Celtic days, his life, and some of his difficult times. You know, he he was uh, great about sharing that, and uh, you know, certainly asking. And he's very, very, uh, uh, in I guess, uh, concerned always about you know my life and what he could do. You know, those type things. What what he could do to help, and you know, basketball and life. I mean, so just just a a, a really genuine special guy and and uh you know we were awfully close for those years and obviously as years go on you know you kind of drift away and you go different directions but boy i uh you know as i've aged and boy have i uh you look back on those times and and, and really the good times which about all of them were i mean the basketball wasn't good but uh, the 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 times with bill were very good Coach Jerry Reynolds with us. You know, a lot of the stuff we we know about Bill from from reading, from uh, seeing the old videos, and we were just talking before you came on about all the things that you know when people would say Bill was guarded or gruff or stern. You know, we we talked about just one, a couple of the horrors he and his family went through uh, off the court, where you could certainly understand why the man might have a few things on his mind. That being said. Uh, Folks like you that were blessed enough to get in that circle, I, I've heard anecdotes that the one thing that uh, uh, about Bill that some people may not realize is the sense of humor and the the laugh hmm. that was, oh. was very memorable. <laughs> oh yeah, I always said that was uh, probably the main thing I had to develop uh, to uh, in early uh, in my Bill, Bill Russell experience was the become cackle proof. <laughs> <laughs> Because he had a cackle that would uh, split your eardrums, you know, and and, uh, and I mean, and boy, he would, you know, but something was funny. I mean, he enjoyed it. Let's put it that way. And so, yeah, I was going to say, I, I got so, you know, it was, uh, I always remember just kind of being in his office and we'd, you know, be there and then Willis Reed or different people at that time and uh, just uh, Bill and his cackle, it was, uh, 
it was a special, you know. And I mean, it'd be one of those things too, where Bill liked to be very was a very private person, but we'd be in a restaurant or something, and you know, and you know how I am, I might say something that might be a little humorous, and and he'd just let out a big cackle in case there was a human that didn't know Bill was in there. They, you know, <laughs> they, they they knew from several levels that uh, there was Bill Russell was in the in the building. Jerry, I'm thinking back to, what is it, 87. So basketball in Sacramento is still very new. Um, Bird and Magic are in their prime. Jordan's just getting started. There's not a bigger name than Bill Russell. And forget the results of him as a coach here, but the announcement or hearing that Bill Russell is coming to be a part of the Sacramento Kings. I, I wasn't here then. I can't imagine there that, that's that had to be blockbuster news the way that was received at the time. Oh, it was. Yeah. You know, certainly on a national basis and, and, uh, you know, it was one of those things to where obviously the Sacramento Kings, much like they are today, kind of forgotten nationally, but all of a sudden we're front page news everywhere, sports wise for a long time. And, you know, and, and, and Bill, even though he did really was very guarded with the media, but, uh, he'd always come up with some, uh, great quotes because he was bill russell and uh you know like I say it was uh then i think too the the fact you know that he immediately you know fortunately for me i was hired as an assistant uh, along with willis reed an all-time great and that uh which well i said uh, yeah what about this picture doesn't fit willis reed <laughs> bill russell and, and jerry reynolds <laughs> they, they had i always remember a t-shirt uh was made, he said, the three R's, uh, uh, Reynolds, or uh, Russell, Reed, and Reynolds. And I said, yeah, well, there's one one R pretty small and those other two two big R's. <laughs> when, when, you, when you, one of the things we talked about too, Coach, as Coach Jerry Reynolds joins us, was how fun it is to see superstars in awe. It, it's so fun to see these these giants of the game whether it was Kobe or Kevin Garnett or heck, you know, the fact that Bill Russell could humble Michael Jordan had to be, that had to be a special thing to watch too, as everybody just became a kid when this man stepped in the room. Yeah, he, he really did. He had a, you know, a special presence and, you know, and there's, you know, maybe a half dozen players probably in history that, that you could say that about that, you know, were just, you know, put on a, a different level, and certainly Bill was, and certainly should have been, and 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 I think the the players that came after, you know, realize, uh, you know, what a what a what a leader he was in the sport, and and not just as a player, but as a person, you know, and and so, uh, yeah, there to say he's unique could be <laughs> really be underrating him because he was. Uh, just put on that level. And I've, I've said before, it was kind of neat at that time because the team wasn't any good, truthfully. Uh, I mean, Pat Riley wouldn't have won any games much with the team or Greg Popovich or Steve Kerr or Phil Jack. I mean, he just wasn't going to win. Uh, you know, the NBA is about talent on your roster, and, and I think most people understand that. Uh, uh, coaching's important, but down the list – compared to talent, but, but every city we'd go to, you know, because it was Bill, all of a sudden Sacramento Kings were kind of a big deal mm. for a while. It's almost to a level of, uh, of back in the two thousands when the Kings were actually really good. It was kind of a, 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 a big deal everywhere in, in America, but, uh, you know, Bill created that atmosphere, not that he wanted to, but he just did. You know, Jerry, the tail end of his playing career, um, he was also a coach and we've heard of that. We've seen, I mean, what do you remember about him being a player coach? He won, he won a couple of titles. How, how did that look? How did he do as, as the guy, the best player on the team, but also coaching the team? Well, you know, he, uh, I always say, and, and really had a lot of conversations with Bill about that. And, uh, he was, you know, very, very humble and honest about it. And he said, you know, he said, basically read our back. I told him, he said, he knew that, uh, you know, that the only person that, once Red decided he was going to retire, that there's only one person that could coach Bill, and that would be Bill. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Bill said, "Yeah, I think he's a, Red was a hundred percent right on that." And he said, "One thing that that helped me," he said, "You know, I, I I figured out early on 
that I needed to focus more on playing once the game started. And he said that Larry Siegfried was kind of a reserve player, very good player out of Ohio State, Uh, you know, played with the Havlicek Lucas teams. And he said, Larry pretty much would coach the team. You know, we'd talk about it beforehand, you know, because he didn't play a lot. And, and, And so Larry did really most of the game type uh, substitutions and different things. And then he laughed one time. He said, we had some injuries and Larry had to play a lot. He said, man, Larry, he said, Siegfried came to me and said, said, Bill, I can't do this much more. It's killing me. (laughs) 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 You're wearing me out both ways. But, you know, I, I thought, uh, you know, that was a a real strength of Bill's. He he was able to, you know, he had no problem delegating things uh, to people he trusted. You know, last thing for you, Coach, I, I don't know maybe it, whether he's gotten settled in or not, maybe he had a bite to eat, but I would imagine right around now, Coach, uh, Bill Russell and Will Chamberlain are on the on the they're on the floor somewhere up there. They're 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 playing a little one on one, they're going back and forth. Uh I would imagine if you had to lay money on one of those guys, that'd be a tough bet to make. But you certainly when you look back through history and you look at the rivalry between those two, it just kind of makes you smile and you kinda hope that uh that maybe they're uh Maybe they're going at it again here real soon. Oh, yeah. I mean, you know, they were great friends and, and uh, tremendous competitors. And uh, uh, no question, icons that, uh, you know, set set the league, uh, well, you know, up for years yeah. to come. And, you know, really did allow the, the Birds and the Magics and later the George and LeBrons and Kobe's, all of them, to, to, to benefit from, you know, where, where they set the league. And... Uh, uh, two of the greatest, and certainly with Bill, uh, no doubt the the greatest winner. You know, he he'd be the first to tell you I wasn't the best individual, but said I I I was uh, a winner. And uh, I always remember a quote he gave me, uh, bless his soul. Uh, he said, you know, I asked him about you know how many really great players you think there are, and he said, well, he said, he said I'll tell you one thing. He said I'm one of them, and and said. Uh, Lord doesn't make about four or five at the most a year, wow. and uh, and and I think that is so true. Maybe not that many, yeah. <laughs> maybe not that many, but he was sure one of them. Now, if there's ever a bright side to losing somebody uh, as iconic and special as Bill Russell, as we said earlier, it's being able to talk to people like you and to be able to turn on our TV later today and see, uh, you know, my children and the next generation, uh, the youngsters, hearing these anecdotes, hearing these stories, and really the the tidal wave of celebrations uh, and stories we're going to get about Bill Russell. And I, I know it's not easy for you. We super appreciate your time, Coach. And uh, It's always fun to talk to you, but when it's something like this, uh, it, it's even more amazing. So really appreciate you coming on. Thank you, guys. Uh, really, really appreciate you having me on and getting a chance to talk about just, uh, just a wonderful, wonderful man that uh, I really miss already. Looking forward to talking to you start the season, Coach. Thank you so okay. much. See you That's, guys. See you. That's Coach Jerry Reynolds. Of course, we ran a little bit late. How can you not with Jerry? I agree with you guys in the YouTube chat. Jerry's voice just draws you in.